Hello and greetings everyone, this is Rabbit Retrospect Games, and this is going to be a casual review of Saints Row Get Out of Hell. Saints Row Get Out of Hell is available on the Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and PC platforms. It is also available as a standalone expansion pack or as part of the Saints Row 4 Reelected Edition. So whichever version interests you, go out there and pick your poison. With that said, let's get on to Saints Row Get Out of Hell. Now this game, I feel, in my personal opinion, is going to get a lot of mixed reactions from people and I think there's a lot of good reasons for that but I guess let's start with the basics and let's go over the gameplay which is the one thing this expansion pack does exceptionally well this game has some absolutely fun gameplay and I think part of that has to do with the way you can move around the city the flight mechanics are the bar none best I've seen in any open world type game and there's not a lot of superhero games that have flight mechanics. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is Bat the Batman Arkham series, which does it very well, but that's not really flight, that's gliding. I mean, you can fly, but eventually you're going to hit the ground. This one, pure straight up fly. You're using Lucifer's Halo in order to fly. And it's great, it works great. Once you get the hang of it, flying around the city is absolutely phenomenally fun. And I think they've done that better than just about anyone else. Like I said, flight mechanics great. You've also got various powers that you unlock throughout the course of the game. Many of which are the stomping ability. You've got the ability to summon some imps. And they all have kind of elemental variations that you can unlock yeah. via alters in the game. So it adds a bit more variety in addition to you know the already varied powers you get. So that's very fun. The gameplay, the powers... Very fun. The core gameplay of, you know, shooting and whatnot works great. It's fun. The driving is pointless. I gotta be honest with you. Once you, you, you have a flying mechanic, there's no reason to fly. You run faster than cars. You fly faster than cars. There's no reason to use cars. So, yeah. No reason to use cars, but they work okay. I'm not a big vehicle person, so, you know, I'm gonna use the flight mechanics because they work so well. But that's kind of the core gameplay. And then you have what kind of builds upon that core gameplay is the activities. And that's the main draw of Gat Out of Hell, is the activities. You've got your Torment Fraud, you've got Saving Fallen Angels, you've got Races with the Wings. You know, you've got quite a few activities to do in the game, in all honesty. And if you're a fan of the Saints Row series for its activities, then this game is going to be for you. Because that's pretty much what you're going to be doing the entire game. Activity after activity after activity after activity and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of variety to them So if that's your cup of tea, you will absolutely love this game um, You also have collectibles in the form of orbs and audio diaries and various things like that So if you like collectibles, it's got plenty of them the orbs obviously are used for upgrading your character and all that fun stuff and You know they did a very good job with the core gameplay absolutely solid core you know core gameplay in my book but one of the problems i have with this game is the story and that might be something weird to kind of complain about but the gameplay while it is very good make absolutely no mistake about it the gameplay is exceptionally well done but the story is non-existent which kind of makes it a little bit tedious at times to do the gameplay because there's nothing to break up the you know, there's nothing to break it up and there's so little story, and it seems like such a wasted opportunity. The saints are in hell, fighting Satan. It seems like such a wasted opportunity. But there's not much in the way of story or cutscenes. or There's absolutely really no story missions. The only kind of quote-unquote story missions just say, Hey, go do this activity and kind of introduce you to the activities. There's no real story missions or anything like that, which I think is a missed opportunity. And like I said, the story, what little stories there happens in the very beginning then a bizarre musical number in kind of the middle which is in my opinion not really funny or not entirely well done it just kind of happens it leads up to a funny joke later on but that's about it and then there's the ending and there's also five actual endings there's you know beating satan and fighting all that stuff and then there's five endings which is kind of pointless because they all last about 20 seconds so i don't know i feel like they missed a great opportunity with the story here because they have returning people from the Saints Row franchise and all that fun stuff. And they just decided, eh, let's just, let's just, yeah, we're just going to dump you in hell and let you do whatever you want. 
And again, to be fair, like I said, gameplay is absolutely solid, but I really think they dropped the ball as far as that, you know, as far as not having a story, they really needed it, in my opinion. Then again, I'm a story guy, so that's just me, but I think they needed it to kind of break it up because it made the game feel longer than it was because at times it's kind of dragging on because you just want to progress a little bit further to maybe unlock something else or something like that, and it never does, and you're just kind of sitting there like, well, I guess I'll just go do activities, so... This is going to be one of those games that is probably best to either play in co-op or in bursts. That's just my opinion on it. And I really wish they would have done something to the story. But like I said, these side activities, the gameplay, it's all very solid. Um, that's what they do best is the gameplay. Story is pretty much non-existent. The voice acting is nothing exceptional. And the music is nothing exceptional. So it has one really well done thing about it, and that's the gameplay. Everything else is just kind of competent. And depending on your viewpoint, if you walk into this saying, I just want more Saints Row, I want more Saints Row, I want new Saints Row, but I don't want to spend a lot of money, then this is probably going to be absolutely ideal for you. I mean, you can buy the standalone for $20, or you can get a next gen version of the game if you want an excuse to play it on next gen consoles. You know, you can get the Saints Row Reelected Edition. And it comes with Gat Out of Hell. So you've got Saints Row 4 and the expansion pack, so that's a pretty good deal. But if you're not a fan of the series already, and you were just maybe mildly curious in it, I would say probably wait until a sale, an eventual sale, happens with the either the standalone expansion or a new copy of Saints Row 4 Reelected. Because this isn't going to make anyone a fan of the series. This is for people who are already fans of the core gameplay, core mechanics, and just want an expanded version of that. It's for those people. It's not for getting new fans. And it's not going to make any new fans, I don't think. I really don't think this is going to make any new fans. But it's it's a solid package overall. You get a lot of content for what you're paying if you just get the standalone expansion pack. You get a lot of content. Which is, in my opinion, that's admirable considering we see so much... DLC and quote-unquote expansion packs released nowadays that it's you know fifteen dollars and you get two hours you, This one you're going you know you're gonna pay what twenty dollars and you're gonna get Pretty much fifteen hours of gameplay because there's all the activities all the things unlock all the collectibles There's a lot to do in this game So you know I think they did a good job as far as that goes getting bang for your buck and the gameplay and that sort of thing But it's not gonna make anyone a fan which, I don't know, I really think they should have just waited on this and maybe made it a full game. Because there was something here. There was something really interesting I think they could have done with it, but they didn't really. It just kind of, you play it and it's over. You know, there's no, it doesn't have any staying power in my opinion. But that's just kind of my two cents. Like I said, this is kind of a casual review. I just want to throw my two cents out there because I think this is going to get a very heavy mixed reaction from a lot of people. And it's going to get, you know, some people are going to say it's awful, some are going to say it's, you know, okay, some are going to say it's great. It's going to get mixed reactions, so I just want to throw my two cents out there and hope that maybe it helps someone decide, you know, what they want to buy. You know, maybe it helps them purchase, the, you know, decide whether or not to purchase the game. But like I said, this is just a casual review, and I hope it helps out someone. So, with that said, my name is Rapid Retrospect Games, and I hope you all have an excellent day, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.